Here comes Miss Mine Explorer. Good morning. Good morning. Warm day today already, huh? I know. Watch above you, you got a sharp tree poking out. Yeah. You're trying to go in this little corner right here. Sliding on in an inclined shaft. Very wide one, probably 12 feet wide. It's kind of slidey coming in here too. I mean, kind of loose. So this is looking down. There is a ladder on the left side here and that's emerging out of the rubble. So that's good because I was worried about getting up here. If you have to slide, if it's so slippery coming up, that makes it difficult. Because it looks pretty long for now. It's just enough angle where stuff wants to roll down here. And we have no idea what might be down here. It might be plugged. It might not even be a level or anything. You able to walk down it? Yeah, not really. Looks like you are. Easier than going through the rubble. Oh yeah. It's just a little bit low in the Okay, this is looking back up the ladder that we came down on this inclined shaft. Probably about a 30 degree angle. Maybe 100 plus feet. This is what you come to. Go ahead. Looks like there is a left and a right working. There's some mud that's flowed down in here. Oh, not a left, is it? Looks like just a right. The left is a no go, but it never was a go. Here's the right. Oh, the ladder going up already. goes up. Looks like those boards have been quite wet. It does look pretty wet down here. There's mud, uh, dried mud. Looks like it does get wet, I should say. It's not wet now. Dry as a bone. Oh, glove. Oh, glove. The trap ties. That's the left fork. This is the right fork that we're taking to start with. Oh yeah. Oh, that didn't go very far, did it? There's the face. Well, all the action must be in the other fork. Okay, here's the other fork. This uh, this looks like it might have had some. Well, it's got a pipe going down it. Some of the mines in this area had um, pipe for track, which is something we don't see a lot. But I think this pipe that's down here is just a water airline, not airline. It's pretty small. And here are some air hoses. There's another left. There's some boxes. That's just a little short little drift cross cut. Yeah, there's something up above us too. This probably heads up that way. Or we're going to intersect it somewhere because there was a... Sh uh, Waste pile up above us. 
not too far actually. Huh. It's like a little stair, you don't see that too often do you versus a ladder. Let's keep pushing on and see where this goes. There's some of their wedges they use for hanging their lines. Another rubber hose up here. Oh yeah, there's a track switch. And a cross cut. Bunch of rubber hose here. Some miscellaneous stuff here and there. We can go down there and take a closer look later if we don't find anything exciting this other way. I see some timbering up here. That's just another small raise. Yeah, here's something going down. Fairly good sized stope. Look at this mess. I know. Real going up here. So this is looking up into this chute of some sort. I've never quite seen anything quite like it. It's wood. It's lined with some steel sheet. I don't know how far it goes that way. And it either has to go left or right or it stops. I guess they drop it right here, don't they? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it goes down that way. There's a little ladder here. A little ladder going up here, but it doesn't really go anywhere. So I guess they would run this skip up over the top of this college that we're in here and dump it down this chute. And then this stops right here. So the vein must have gone down where that wind goes. There's another stair there. Kind of strange. The three or four step stair. This is looking back at this. Top of the winds and an ore drop into a car, which would be right in the middle here, where between Julie and me. Well, how far down does this go? Mm -hmm. Suppose we gotta go check it out, huh? Yeah. Alright, let's go down a little bit and check it out down here. It's a little wobbly, but not too bad. Okay. So that's where I came from. This doesn't go very far. Down about 50, 60 feet. A short left. And a short right. I don't know which way you're facing. And I'm going back up. It seems like a pretty elaborate system for just this little bit of a working. I can't believe that would be worth it. But there it is. All right, this is back to the top of this little shaft with this contraption at the top of the winds for the skip dump. 
Julie's still standing up here. They left a pillar here. I, I don't even know what kind of mine this was. It's in gold area, but it doesn't really look like gold workings to me. Might be lead or even iron. Who knows? Crazy miners. Boyson paints. I've seen that before in mines. I'm not sure if it was for paint or for something else. But let's take this right in this little cost cut and see if there's anything exciting because there wasn't much down that shaft, was there? There's some explosives paper. There's some more explosives paper. There's a little drawer. Like from a file cabinet or something. Cable. And the face. All drill holes. There's a Penzel grease tube. 705 multi purpose. I feel air coming. Did we did we look at the other way from this switch or did we not? So. Where was the switch? Mm -hmm. So a little strange. But that's what it is. Now we know. Otherwise you never know. We're going back out. There's more stuff to check out up top. We're looking around out here. And there's an old four-cylinder engine with the transmission. And the uh, output shaft. Part of an old truck it looks like because there's a vehicle frame there. And I don't know what kind of it is. It's got a timing chain that's still there. Four-cylinder. Anyway, it's... To run this little mill, uh, you can see how it would have, it had a scupper that came out this way, so they would liquefy the, the millings, have them run out here, and I'm not sure exactly what happened down this way, but I don't see a lot of tailings. Well, maybe they are down that way, aren't there? Oh, yeah. So that's pretty cool, a little mill, a little circular mill. And something would have run around in that concrete track and crushed the ore. This is looking behind us across the Saline Valley over towards Telescope Peak. We parked the Jeep at the edge of the wilderness. We're heading up this way. Just kind of looking around. There's a little added over there. At least I see a waste pile. It looks like there might be another one up higher ahead of us there. And there are a couple trails that go up this canyon. Here's still part of a water pipe that was supplying the mines that are down below us. Anyway, we'll uh push on and see what we find. There are the remnants of a road wall. Even though this is in the wilderness now. It once was a mine road I guess. There's still some water pipe up here. That's looking behind us again. We're gaining a little elevation. So here we come to a split in the road. There's a trail over here to our left, not too far, that goes up to this saddle right above Julie's head, which is where we're trying to go. Oh, 
Okay, this is looking back behind us again. Of course, we didn't take the main trail. We were on burrow trails most of the way. But we are up here just about to the saddle, which is just ahead of us another 100 feet. Okay, that's looking back behind us. I'm standing on top of the saddle here. This is looking towards the higher parts of the mountain. This is looking at a blocked road. There's a uh, mine working down that road a ways. We haven't been down there. This road is supposed to be closed too. It's wilderness. It looks like people have probably knocked down the rocks and come out here. Who knows? People do stupid stuff all the time. So this is where we're trying to get to. There's supposed to be a cabin, a, uh, a few addits, and whatever else up this road. Probably about a mile or so or more, mile and a half. It's getting kind of late in the day already. So we're not sure we're going to make it there. But let's try. we got to leave about two hours to get back. Wow, look at the road wall. Unbelievable. And not just here, it looks like it goes for about a half a mile. You see that? Wow. I love road walls. It's just so amazing to me that guys sat and stacked all these rocks to shore up the road. 100 plus years ago. Unreal. There's a little portal. We're going to keep pushing along though because there's supposed to be a few more interesting things up here. Up canyon about another mile. So maybe we can hit that on the way back. So that's looking back behind us at what's left of the, the road and the big road wall. Now we're back into a wash. We're still trying to get up to these upper mines up here. There's four at it, a shaft and maybe a cabin or at least a ruin. But we're not getting there very fast. Well, there must be a spring around here somewhere. Look at the bees and the butterflies and the and everything on these gold flowers. Sunshine going through. So here's the spring. Somebody's got a little pipe up there. And the water's coming right out. Well, we're throwing in the towel on our mission for today. It's just taking too long to get up here. Every time we look at the map, we've still got a mile to go. Anyway, this is looking down canyon. We pass a little spring. The burrows really like it around here. And we've got about three or four addicts we can explore on the way back. So we get something out of the deal and a nice hike. Oh, yeah. Look at the butterflies. They're loving that. And the hum of the bees. Let's go explore an attic down here. There are a couple, there are four down here, but only two that I saw that really looked worth exploring. There's a little cubby here. All right, let's slip into this old guy. Watch your back here. This is not gonna be huge. I can tell you right now. All right, we're in. There's some nice smooth walls here. That was the mineral deposit up against that. 
de frigir. Very nice wall, huh? Yeah. Look how tall it is. Yeah. I bet they got some good minerals off of that. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Okay. That's 12 feet tall. Let's see that. Well, it's kind of fun just to come and see that wall, isn't it? I know, it's, it's a nice one. Yeah. There's the face. Okay, let's go in. See what we have. I gotta quit saying ouch so much. Can't help it, everything hurts. All right, we're in. A similar wall to the last one. Not quite as big. Same idea though. Contact zone, fracture, fissure, whatever you wanna call it. There's a little mini stope over this way. There it is. That's kind of weird. Were they dewatering or were they bringing in water for drills? Look at this wall. I didn't think it would be that big. Look at this. Oh, a gobbling wall. Yeah, neat, huh? Huh. Yeah, they didn't want to haul it out, so they stacked it up. I could ever use these. Huh. Interesting. Oh yeah, they do use some old water pipes. There's pipes all over the place because of the spring that's up this way. There must be, I don't know, ten different lines coming off that spring uh, for different eras. This has a vertical vein right at the back of the mine, on top of the back. Standing up straight, up and down. So there's a big one stall here and a stope. Oh, there's a little stall up above me too. Here's the back side of this waste rock stacking. That old pipe had a patch on it. You see that? Yeah, there's one right here too. You can see closer. Oh, there it is. They, uh, it split there from freezing and they wrapped twine and a piece of rubber hose around it. There's a good one right here. A good example. Oh yeah, here's another one. Mm -hmm. They put twine and... What is that? I don't know. I feel that one. It's like canvas material. Is it? Mm -hmm. Let's move on down the line a little bit. Here's this vein again. Right in the back of the mine. It's a cozy little drift, isn't it? Yeah. Just tall enough to stand it up there. It's solid though. It feels like you know, Oh, it's very cozy. solid. Mm -hmm. Very solid and tall enough to stand up in. And that's pretty nice. That's straight up. Neat little drift. That must be the face, huh? Yeah. Yep. 
that's it. I gave up. I don't know what years this was worked. Probably the early 1900s. The area just a short ways away from here was the minerals were found there in 1875 and worked until about 1890. The silver mine. We'll take a few shots hiking down the hill. Maybe we'll see a burrow. The burrows like this area because of the spring, I think. There's not many water sources out here and there. Even that little trickle of water was enough to draw the burrows and whatever else in. Here's our trail. You can see the trail go all the way down the side there. Our Jeep is just visible down there. Oh yeah, you can see it. By those few big boulders. It's probably only about a mile, maybe a little more than a mile away. A little orange dot. I don't know if you can see it down there. Down that way. But look at the beautiful Panamint Valley. We're in the Argus Mountains. Those are the Panamint Mountains over there. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's get out of here. We're getting there. Well, now we ended up on a burrow trail. Burrow. Generally going the way we want to go. We are back down to the little mill that we looked at earlier and the blocker for the wilderness. Not supposed to drive any further than this. That's, that's the post ahead of Julie there. There's a little mill. Uh, might be some other stuff around here if you want to look around real quick. There's a big tank over this way. water tank. Here are the mill tailings. So there are a few tailings here and there would have been more that washed down the, the drainage here. There's pipes that run miles across these hills if they find a spring. They'll run pipe for miles and, uh, to bring in water. This is that pipe that comes all the way out of the hill. Look, you can see it shining all the way up there. Alright you guys, thanks so much for watching the video. We always appreciate your support for our channel. And from Julie and myself, we will see you on our next adventure. See you next time.